So the incubator is on, uh, what is it, day 14 now? Yeah. Okay. Today is lockdown day. We're going to take the, the egg turner out and we're going to um, put them in the tray and just let them sit for the next few days. They're going to be hatching soon, hopefully. We've been keeping an eye on them. The incubator has been doing really good. It's been holding a steady temperature. Um, we have tried candling them a couple times. And it, uh, we're afraid that we don't have a big success rate on this batch. But it's not surprising since we've had, um, we had some cracked ones in the mail. I even read that a lot of shipped eggs have like a 50% hatch rate. So obviously, if they come all smashed up, it's going to be worse than that. So we're going to take this out. And we'll try to candle them right here. And we're just going to keep the ones in that are worth keeping in. So I have this little energizer flashlight and it has like a flashlight on the end, lantern on the side. It's really cool. And this is good for candling these little eggs because it has a little tiny uh, end on it. Well, can you turn that light off so it's dark in here? These cracked ones, I don't think any of them made it. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, that one's, there's something in there at the end, but I, I would say that's dead because it's, mm -hmm. at this stage, they must be filling the egg. If they're yeah. not filling it, like you can see right through this one. That one has nothing at all. And look how bad it was cracked. Yeah. So we're just gonna, um, where can I put these? Oh, this set them on the counter. Those are bad. 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 So in the future, if we have cracked eggs, we'll probably just skip them all together. That one looks a little darker, but it's definitely empty. Yep. Empty. Mm-hmm. That's really disappointing. We might crack these open just to see if anything happened inside. Because some of them are dark. That, that one's, one's... I don't know. Look at that one. That one... There's something in it. There's definitely something in it. Let's try that one. I don't know. I think there's way too much light in here. I'll put it in here. I'll think about it. So if we can see through them like this one, look at This one's pretty... Yep, we're keeping that one. Pretty dark. Anything that's remotely dark, we're going to keep. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. You can yeah. see light all through it. And this Eek. one's solid. These quail eggs, some of them are pretty dark. Hard to see through. I get no shine through that one. But Yay. actually, that's the one that we just got from... Yeah. All right, well, this one... That one we're going to have to manually turn. We're going to have to keep turning that because that's not ready. F yeah. Yet. Okay, we'll keep this one. I can tell that one was... And this one was the cracked one that... Something grew in there, I think, because it's... Uh, I would try it. I mean, look at it. But there's a lot of light on this end, and that worries me. I'll throw it in there, and, you know, just to be safe. So this is what we have. This is the one that Mariah gave us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of 24, hopefully. And, and less, less than that. I don't expect this. I don't think there's anything live in there. Yeah. So I'll try to be careful and not roll these around. Too much. Probably should have put a cloth on the bottom, but it's fine. You want to space them out? Um, no, I think they'll be fine. I'm just going to keep this one up front. So there it is. Lockdown period started. Won't be a true lockdown because we're going to keep turning that one egg, but we'll do our best to keep it adequate. The humidity is pretty low. We may bring it up now. We've read a lot and a lot of people bring the humidity up in the last four days. So we might throw a wet sponge in there or something. But fingers crossed, I guess. So we'll bring you back once they start hatching. So what happened? A, a quail hatched. See it back there? That is so cool. Right on day 18. We were not expecting that at all. Hey, it's stuck to the shell. It's okay. Today is June 4th. So it's when they were supposed to hatch. Oh, 
at least one hatched. That's awesome. Wow, Ashley has been checking, we've both been checking this all day and they've been just still, nothing happening. Yeah. I always stare at them to see if I can see them moving and nothing. And then Belle came in the house. We thought she was pranking us. She comes out, she says, the quail are hatching. The eggs are hatching. Can you believe your incubator worked? That's cool. Yeah, really cool. Too bad so many of them didn't make it, but. So how long do we leave the chicks in there when they hatch? I don't know, I think we'll just leave it for a little while. We'll, we'll look it up. Oh. We woke up to another quail. Now we have two. Yep. And this egg right there has a <laughs> hole in it. So hopefully he's okay. Man, they pop, they pop out so fast. We watch and watch and we can't catch them. And then they're just out. Yeah. So we have the brooder all set up. We decided to go with the tote because it felt like a better size than the big trough we have that we use for our chickens. So yeah, we just set it up really quick. We had this uh, lamp from the chicken set up. We just got some uh, fine pine bedding and uh, picked up these feeder and the water just today. Yep. This is a little quail waterer. And we bought the jars at Goodwill, so they were 69 cents each. And then that, we, put, we picked those up at Tractor Supply. And we had another little guy hatch. And we have one more on the way that we see. And hopefully more. So we're, we're looking to at least get four. Probably more, but we'll see. They're really cute. Really tiny. Look how tiny. Let me pick one up so they can see it. Yeah. I don't want it hopping out. Look at this thing. Yeah. Tiny, tiny. It's amazing how they're packed in those little eggs. So they're doing really good. They seem healthy. They seem happy. They haven't started eating or drinking yet, but that, we just got them in here. Yeah. Do you want to show them the food that we got? Yeah. So quail need a really high protein food. And we had a hard time finding anything at Rural King. They didn't have like anything there. So we drove down to Tractor Supply. And they actually had a better selection. They had this Game Bird Showbird mix, which is a 24% protein, which is good. And we got this to add to it, to kind of supplement it and bring the protein up even more. This has a 29% protein. So we're going to do like one part of this to nine parts of that. And this is good enough to feed them throughout their life. So I don't know what we're going to feed them, but for now it's good. It's a starter, grower, fold mix. Um, yep, you can use it for turkeys, quail, like ducks, anything really. Yeah. So we don't know. In the future we might change it. We know that's a small bag. It's not the most cost effective way to feed them, but for a small flock it's going to be fine for now. So they're, they're hatched, they're healthy, and uh, we're happy with how it's turning out so far. This is our first time doing quail. First time hatching eggs. Yep. And first time using our incubator. Yeah, now we know the, our, that our incubator works. That's cool. So yeah, this was part of the June hatch along with the Texas boys. And also the Duckhead Homestead is hatching duck eggs for that as well. I just wanted to show you guys what the eggs look like when they hatch out of them. They peck all the way around in a straight line, sort of, and they just come out of it like that. It's cool. Really cool. I've never seen that before. It's amazing. Somehow those little birds fit in there. So oh, that's our quail. Um, we got more in the way. We'll show you the, those in another video probably. And I guess that's all for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out our Instagram. The link is in the description. Um, 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.